I'm here at the AMRC talking to Lee from Starag. Welcome, Lee. Thank you. Hello. So, first of all, you guys have quite a strong relationship with the AMRC. Sure. We, we, we've been working with the AMRC now for a couple of decades in, in a number of different areas. And um, we, were asked, uh, we were asked recently if, if we could uh, help them work closer in, in the Blist market to develop new processes. Brilliant. So that's the result of, the result of that is this machine coming on, on, the, on the workshop. Now, what machine is this? What, what does it do? Well, this is, um, this is an MB251 machine. It's specifically designed for Blist manufacture for very high accuracy and very high productivity for titanium and nickel Blisks. Oh, okay, fair enough. So this is it's just for Blist manufacture mostly. Obviously, it's a CNC machine, but you could use it for other things. But what about the construction of this machine makes it most applicable to Blisk manufacture? Well, the, the, this machine is, is one of a number of machines in the MB range, and um, and they have different configurations. So th this machine is, is suitable for, for Blisks up to 1.2 meters. We have a smaller variant for Blisks up to, say, 600, 650 millimeters, which is the uh, where, where, where the volumes are. But they're, they're all designed to be dynamically and kinetically uh, optimized to be able to go around the blade profile on a bliss to give you the the shortest productivity, the, the fastest productivity, shortest production time. Does that mean it's a fast machine? It's viciously fast. Oh, okay, and what kind of materials would you be cutting? Uh, what kind of bliss materials? Well, there's, there's two types of materials predominantly. There's um, titanium alloys and there's nickel alloys, usually an Inconel type material. They both cut in different ways. But the, the way the machines are built, the characteristics are such that they, they cover the, the ranges for both material types. So if you're going to be cutting ink in on this, what kind of tools would you be using? Well, we, we could use carbide tools or we can also use very fast rates with ceramic tools. Um, and, and that's where we really need very high dynamics on the machine. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen some, some videos of ceramic milling. You need a fast machine from that. And it's, uh, you've got high cutting speeds compared to, obviously, titanium, you've got really low cutting speeds. Well, even with titanium on, on, on high speed finishing, we're up at some reasonably high cutting, cutting speeds, not to the rates of, of nickel alloys. But the, the idea of this machine is that we can rough very effectively and then we can come in and very dynamically finish very effectively as well. We can also do some uh, small turning operations on the blisters as well. So you're not actually, so you can do turning, you can do heavy roughing, especially with a bit of ceramic, you can be cutting out a lot of ink and oil in, in quite, a, quite a fast pace. You've also got the speed of the machine for the, for the finishing operation. So actually, this can do your blisk productively each operation in, in, in one hit. It's all about cost per cut or cost per part. And, and that's why we're working so closely with AMRC so they can help the UK customers who are into blisks to deliver the best, most effective, uh, most productive parts.